All right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight title fight between Al Jermaine Sterling and Sugar Sean O'Malley. So here's the number one Bantamweight contender making his way to the octagon. Gotta be some nerves here as he gets set to compete for the UFC Bantamweight title. No denying he deserves to be there. He's got the requisite win streak, he's got the finishes, he's got the popularity, the fan support. Now he needs the championship performance. We'll see if he has what it takes to unseat the incumbent. defense to date. The odds suggest that this is a close matchup on paper, but he believes he's one of the GOATs, one of the greatest of all time. If you want to be that, certainly got to make good on this title defense tonight. for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, introducing the challenger, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And now introducing the champion, fighting. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Al Jermaine. Punk Master Sterling! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. 
It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. That was a jab. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Well placed kick there by O'Malley. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in the oh, single nice job to dive the takedown and scramble to his feet. Punch over the top. Just over three minutes to go. Rip the body there. The right hand just misses. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. There's no give on that leg kick. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back in range. Takedown defense holds up. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Just out of range with that strike. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, straight right. Round two coming up next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as Ready? our next round gets underway. Ready? His strong leg has so much power that he... Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh! Head kick lands. Got the single collar tie. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Well, he's got his back now. O'Malley's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Unable to connect with a right hook. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second. Oh, he hurt him! That's a good right hand right there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have landed for Aljamain Sterling. 
and landing at a 52% clip tonight against Aljamain Stewart. Ninety seconds now in round two. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. That was lightning fast at right in. Nice punch there by Sean O'Malley. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Very nice leg kick there by Stoke. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. To the leg kick now, that one's no good. 30 seconds to go in round two. Right under the elbow, on the plane. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, and of course you don't succeed. Try, try again, he's able to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man, over and over. He shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. Ready? A high number Ready? of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Straight punch lands. Stuff to take down, no problem. We need more punches. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his. Oh, Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Sean O'Malley. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Neon Belly, postures up, Neon Belly, he's raining down Brawling Paul. He has to move, or the fight is gonna get stopped. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attack an arm bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. Oh, the 
Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, so there he is, the man they are all chasing at 135 pounds, your UFC Bantamweight World Champion, and what a way to get it done tonight with the submission win. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Aljamain Punkmaster Sterling! So there he is, all smiles, the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World. That is the way he came in, that is the way he goes out after turning in a huge submission win here tonight. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate the effort. You see him with his corner and his coaches there. What a result here tonight. They are all still chasing that man at 135 pounds.